Greetings, poignant friends. Having come to terms with my uniqueness in this best of all possible universes, and to combat the loneliness of my solitary existence, I recently decided to acquire a companion of the feathered variety to comfort me in my unfriended reclusion. And for a time, Elvis, my major Mitchell cockatoo, was an ebullient joy to behold in my hovel by the headland. But eventually it came to dawn on me that Elvis was conspiring against me and was indeed attempting to rob me of my sanity. You see, Elvis had developed a rather cunning and unnerving habit of repeating everything I said ad nauseum morning, noon, and night. I tried to halt this practice by remaining tight-lipped, but Elvis saw through my ploy and would egg me on with his cruel taunts of, who's a pretty boy then, and Polly wants a cracker. The identity of this alleged Polly was a mystery to me, and I became convinced Elvis was bringing girls home under cover of darkness to his cloaked cage of iniquity. But the crunch came when Elvis inadvertently turned my radio to Mix FM and overheard Janiceans at 17, and now quotes this infuriating tune 24 hours a day. This is a torture no man could endure. I had to act fast to preserve my sanity, but being a loving hominoid incapable of inflicting harm on another living species, I enlisted the services of a hitman, whereupon Elvis received a pre-dawn visit from a Mr. Ozzy Osborne, who snapped his jaws around the beak of Elvis, extinguishing his fine feathered faculties. Unfortunately, I'm now being haunted by the headless ghost of Elvis, flying around my bedroom, squawking in the voice of Janice Ian. Ah, ah, I learned the truth at 17. Ah!